of the guys it's four four and a hundred hundred if you kill the hundred guy and he kills you it, uh, like that's a free round hundred percent uh, so you're unsure if you're going with your friends or you're going for like going behind did somebody yeah. call or were you just unsure what you want to do um i uh so today we're looking at a new player that needed help to understand the basic fundamentals of CSGO and entry fragging. If you're a new player, this would be very insightful. I will not hold you longer, so grab a pen and notebook and enjoy this coaching session. I can tell you here quickly about like the position you have. Okay, yeah, yeah. So this position is good if you play right behind here so you can peek left and right. Okay. The uh, problem with this position now is that uh, if you just let this play a little bit. Right here. Now this, this position is a problem because you are fully focused here. One of your teammates is here and the other is under, which means this part is completely open. I see. And with like a... Like of course, they're not coming to you, but with like a crazy play, a flash here, and three guys swinging, you're a free kill. Yeah. yeah. So here it's better to go on the other side of, uh, of the triple box and only look here. Really? Yeah. Because your teammate okay. got mid, so they can't come from con for you, and you will not okay. be watched by here, so they will only find, like, peak from here. So it's like, when you're watching this, since you have an MP9, this fight and a guy swinging under here is usually worse for you. It's better to right. stand in this corner and just fully focus palace behind you. Okay. And then either ask this guy to kinda hold for a swing, uh, or next time... Well, okay, this guy have pushed, actually, so it doesn't... As you see, your friend have like pushed down, so you should really be just yeah. focusing palace. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's here as well. This is a very good position under palace. It's a very strong position for rushes like you're about to, like about to enter now. Best thing you can do then is to play with your teammates. I don't know who you... So we got, uh, we got the portal, the blue portal. guy. Yeah. When he sees this out and he's shooting, even tagged one. You should already either A, be thinking of swinging out to help him. Right. Or if you have a flash, try to do a flash and then try to help him. Right. Okay, just so flash. If I were to flash, like, maybe just like off this A piece of wood so it bounces no. back at them or... Here. First, you like need to know like how you should peek this and just that just like you just want to like be jiggling it. Right, okay. Because when he makes contact, you have some flash. You can do like you aim at like this one and just left click close this. Okay. Flash just right in front here. You will blind the guys here, so it means you can now swing and kill these guys. If you want to blind all of this, just aim and do this one and peek with it. Okay. Just doing this one, you can't like you can't peek it. You have to wait. Yeah. Yeah, because like if you do this, you have to wait for it. It have to pop and then you swing. See, that's 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 something that I, I feel like I lack in is being able to get those kind of good pop flashes. In front of a mask. And then here, just like four of them are there. Best idea, like your friend get a kill there, is just swing with your friend. Try to get the one for one, maybe. You can gotcha. even like see the HP of the guys. It's four, four, and a hundred, hundred. If you kill the hundred guy and he kills you, it, like that's a free round, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Or you kill two guys with four HP, you get two kills. Right. Okay, cool. Alright, so now Bomb have been spotted. Yeah, so now it's... Rotate. Now it's Rotate. So you're unsure if you're going with your friends or you're going for like going behind. Did somebody yeah. call or were you just unsure what you want to do? Um, I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I probably was just <laughs> unsure. Alright. Just all about just being a little bit faster. Be, tell yourself yep. that I, I'm going to do this now. It's usually I tell people just have like a structured plan for like the start of your round like... What do I do if this happens? Like, let's say you go A, they execute. Alright, I try to get a kill, then I fall back. Or, okay, I fight until I die. Like, give yourself a little plan. It will just right. help help your start out. And whenever you're starting to get comfortable with, like, you don't even think about it, you just do whatever. Mm -hmm. you, have a, you have a set plan. Then you can start thinking about, like, later game, alright, what if they take B? Do I rotate with my friends? Do I go on the lurk? Like, what do I do then? It's just a good mind, so you don't have those like rounds where you go a little bit behind. Oh, maybe I come with my teammate and then, oh, never mind, I'm going for the lurk. Good shot. Good shot. Like, perfect. Perfectly played. And you get diffuse. Perfectly played. And, um, yeah, this is not diffuse. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> think I remember it. Get, but yeah, teammate, oh. <laughs> uh, that, that's, that's the one person that wasn't our friend, so he didn't have a mic and didn't say anything. I see. I didn't even... 
I should have checked. But my teammate, my friend, had a kit too, and he didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah. Something else you can learn is as well the uh, like you have the ten second diffuser on. Yeah. Which is great to have. As but the problem is it takes more than 10 seconds to defuse the bump. Right. So like, cause like even though at like a high level people, oh, you know, you got time. That's like the music started right after you start defusing. You still can be like, you were like 0.1 off or something. Right. Yeah. There's like a reminder there, but that's unlucky. That is unlucky. <laughs> when you see your teammate just like going for the fight here, you playing on maybe, uh, let's say like triple for instance, and then like play on like the triple boxes behind it. Your teammate right. is taking the fight here, and mm -hmm. whenever he gets shot to get contact, you swing out to help him. Immediately, right. Yeah, right okay. after, as soon as he makes contact, you swing to help him. Because then the yeah. enemy will be like two guys probably focused on him, and you might get the third or the fourth guy. And right. it will help your teammates so much more. So Resident I think what I, yeah? what I had was all what, what was happening in my head, of course, was I was going for the default smoke and Molotov that I threw yeah. and I hadn't realized that portal was going to push all the way up and then once they had swung out I felt duck in this position but I, I see what you're saying as as soon as I saw portal going forward I should have just swung back a little bit yeah you should have yeah 100% but again it's not much you can do in a round like this another thing is that you as well have a stairs player and these guys are going with I think only um only a CT smoke so, okay. or you could just be hiding behind triple, let just, this like, guy die, yeah. yeah, and just completely hold it, hold it, and ask this guy to instead hold, like, the cross here for you. So, you okay. can fully focus palace, he will hold, and as soon as he sees somebody cross, you swing, try to get a kill. Okay. Like, that can as well be working for you as well. Yeah, definitely. Go to palace, you have to understand, like, everywhere you can be, like, seen from. When you pat out of palace... This is like a very awful position always, like, the door. Yeah. But you as yeah. well have the windows on the side. And usually patting comes very much to just knowing where you can be seen as well. Right, like, being able to position yourself so that way you're only in one angle's line of sight. Yeah, 100%. So sometimes you might do an entry that feels slower than if you, for instance, run and then hug the left side of the wall and then run out or jump out the window. But what you usually want to do is instead to go on the right side of this wall and then go out here or go more in the middle and then jump out of the window and even though you want to be fast being if you're on the right side the guys from short will be seeing you much later they will only see you in the fuck like in the last window where you will be jumping out right well if you go close they will see you in the first window where you can't really do much and here as well your teammate already is out on site killing this guy best idea here since you're here just get out with him and let mcg here fight this guy for you you okay. just want to like just run out get to site with your teammate and help him take site and let the last guy focus short or go to site and like go here and peek short here together with your teammates so i usually do the same play as well just pushing down your own smoke it's okay. very effective when you have a teammate here Mm -hmm. Only thing that's not effective is that when you push this, fully focus here, because this is smoke. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. So just because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because like your teammate here is holding in case they swing, mm -hmm. and only thing left is this one. Mm -hmm. So if you're just fully focusing that, and you see there is one here, uh, if you fully focus that instead, you have full mid control. Okay, so uh, assume that portal isn't right there on window. Do I push out focusing window? Yeah, yeah. So then okay, you so push out focusing window. So here, you see your smoke fucked up? Uh, is that me? I think that is your smoke that is flying back again. See it like it hits, and now you can see it come flying back again. Oh, yeah, okay. Very important. I've never actually had that sm happen, that smoke. Yeah, so very important with your util on this map, always. Like, for instance, I, for instance, the stair smoke. If you go a little bit too much, like, on the side here, and you try to go for it, I, if it, maybe it works now. If you just do it a little bit wrong, that's yeah. one step wrong, and you already, like, it's fucked up. Very important yeah. is to, like, know, like, for instance, for that smoke, you have to be dead in the middle of this one. Right. Not next to it, like middle. I have to go bottom here, 
Up to the middle, let's click draw. Okay. And then perfect. So the, the plant there, I would have uh, I would have planted more for your teammates. Because you can see you're the only one on site and this is a site plant. Your teammates right, are so here I... and here. So like plant for con, like on the outside of triple? Oh, there are elevation. There's so many positions you can plant. I usually say that the default one is only good if you have CT. If you never have CT, you don't want to do this. Like you can plant That's here, good. call like Navi. Plant in front okay. of here. In <laughs> this corner here, of course. That's just, what I was talking about. Yeah. So one of these three are much better when your team have everything of this. Right. And this means you and you're very alone. Uh, and I get lucky. <laughs> no, no, it's pure skills, pure skills. Very good shot. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> no, well played. That was a massive round to win with only the eagles. A little bit much to left, but that doesn't really matter. Should yeah. work. Yeah. All right, it worked, it worked. And then, this is good, this is very good. How you get out of sight. And you chill, you take some. You should probably have taken more space. Right. But, like, you still get to sight and get the info. Yeah. And that I is see, much... I, yeah? I felt like I kind of freezed up right there. Maybe that wasn't the best position being kind of out in yeah, the I open. So, yeah, definitely taking more space, getting kind of in into, like, behind triple or so probably would have been better, right? Yeah, because the other thing with enter fragging is that you, the tough position is to find like a good spot to be in because you really don't know where the enemies are. You usually have like an understanding like, okay, they play 2A, 1 mid, 2B. So you have an understanding, all right, if you play 2A, one is CT and one is stairs. You have like an understanding where they play, but as soon as you get the kill, you get the open, you get sight and nobody there, you kind of, fr everybody kind of freezes up because you don't really know what you do now. Do right, you take right, CT? Okay. Do you keep sight? Do you want to try to do something aggressive? That's like the dangerous part of like enter fragging. Is when you hit that point where like you're like fuck what do i do now do i do this do i do this right right so here i would just recommend keep keep on pushing like it's all smoke just push through take ct control don't push it too much and play from there that's a good demo you played well and uh, my biggest idea is just uh, get like a good plan from the video i showed you if you want i can send it to you yeah yeah uh, get like a good plan there and like really, sp I don't know how much time you have, you might have a full time work, you might be a student, but just spend some time in making a, like a very detailed plan of what you want to improve on and how you want to yeah. improve, like he done in the video, very easy to do.